Uh, today's a very special day. Uh, it's exciting. All across the country, 300 habitats, just like Habitat Tucson, will be raising walls, painting, uh, doing a brush with kindness, coming together, uh, women helping women, men and women helping women on this special day that is Women's Build. It's a day really designed and sponsored by Lowe's and our local Lowe's stores. Uh, all four of them have come together and brought volunteers out, and we thank you so much. So, thank you for that. We're here at our 15th annual Tucson Habitat Women's Build. We're expecting 250 women, and we got started early this morning. You can hear the hammers behind me. And Women's Build is really a chance for women to come together and, and do something that is traditionally a, a men's world. We have women crew leaders, women supporting women. It's a, a non-threatening, non-intimidating environment. It makes it less intimidating to come back on a regular build day. They come for this special event. They see that Habitat's a place where everyone's invited and embraced, and maybe they've never done construction before. They see that it's not as difficult as they thought, or it's not a threatening environment. It allows them to come back and, and really enjoy the, the experience. Our Women's Build group is a year-round initiative, and the women raise the money for an entire house. We really carry it out throughout the year. Making sure that our community is involved is critical to us. Volunteers are the lifeblood of Habitat Tucson. We're not just building homes, we're building homes, community, and hope. And this is a very, very special house. This is Brenda's house. 250 hours are what is required. Brenda, you're at 300 and how many hours? You know, she didn't stop. Okay, I'm very pleased to give the keys to this wonderful family. This is the dedication for Brenda Vargas and for her family and her friends and all of you as volunteers and staff that have put this place together. When my husband died, uh, that was in January of 2014. Um, it was just unexpected. One day we had him and then the next day we didn't. It was, it was just sudden. Um, that was our, my husband's and my dream to own a home for our kids someday. But we always talked about um, having our own place, what we would do, what we would plan, um, a little garden and things like that. I'm, I'm really happy that we're getting our own place so we won't, I mean, my kids won't have to be moving schools anymore. It's like we can get settled somewhere and then just know we're gonna stay there. You know, I think I'm gonna be able to um, give them a better future and that's where Habitat came in as well. I couldn't ask for a better house out of all the lots <laughs> because um, I would see the ladies there like um, every single time I went. Like when I went to do my sweater, they were there all the time. It was hard work and they were there when it was really cold, I remember. They, were, they didn't complain or anything. I think they're role models too for them, for like my daughters. Well, me and my daughter, we had to learn everything, like um, what nails to use on like different things, like wood and uh, drywall. We did painting, we did digging outside for the landscape, um, and then some of those things that we learned there, we applied them here. So when something got broken or backed up or something, we didn't have to call our landlord. We did it ourselves. I want to keep it forever. That's where I want my kids to grow up. Um, and make, you know, their lives. We finally got our house, but it's kind of sad to that he's not here. The Women's Build Committee raises over $90,000 uh, each year to support this house. And it's really critical that people understand that this is not a giveaway, that this family has worked. This is a single mom, uh, who a widow, who has worked She's earned this house. She's going to have a mortgage. That allows her to pay, in, in this case, 
less on her mortgage than she would be paying for rent and freeing up money for her to, to provide things for her family, college educations and other things so that they're really allowed to participate in things in school and, and provide a, a good, stable um, home for her children. I'm the first um, generation, I think, ever in my family to, to own a home. Yeah, I'm really grateful to Habitat, you know, sort of, because I, I wouldn't have been able to do it by myself, I don't think so.